right so in the last class we walked you through the uh, installation of mysql and we talked about one good design and one bad design okay now today we are going to start our first code to write in mysql so first open your mysql once you have installed you will get this a dolphin symbol so that's the icon for mysql workbench whichever version which you have installed you should be able to see this so open this mysql workbench and the moment you open the mysql workbench uh, you'll be getting welcome to mysql workbench and it's a local instance that you will see one box you will see just click that one box and it will ask you the password which you have logged in while installing so just enter that password and yeah so this is the window you'll get so for time being you can close this you need not need this anymore so this is where you will be writing the code and uh, this is where you will be seeing some objects correct this is where you will be seeing some objects and finally this is a history tab where you'll be able to get it okay now yesterday we talked about good design right now i'm going to walk you through another thing that is very important imagine this is a table where i am having customers so this is a customer table okay this is a customer table so in the customer table basically i'll be storing the customer data so this is customer table or it could be an employee table then what i told you i told i'll be having another table which is actually a product table so this is product information right so this is a product information correct now I'll have another table, which is actually called transaction table. So who has purchased how many products you can see in that transaction table. So this is a transaction table. Okay. Now, so all this three, right? It's actually common for most of the business. For example, today I'm working for Flipkart. Flipkart also will have customers. Flipkart will also have products. Flipkart will also have transaction. Okay. Now let's take Walmart. In Walmart also you will have customers. Walmart also you will have products. Walmart also you will have transactions. So Amazon. Amazon is also having customers. Amazon is also having products. Transactions also will be there. Now how do you differentiate? Customer is customer. Whether he's part of Amazon or is it part of a Flipkart? How do you justify that this account or this user belongs to specific client right now this is actually called this is actually called table 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 so each table stores the specific information about the customer products and transaction now the biggest challenge is i want to find out which client it is is it going to be amazon or is it going to be flipkart for that what i will do for that what i will do i'll put everything into one container i'll put everything into one container and that container i will call it as amazon database so in amazon database you can have n number of tables created that tables will belong to amazon now as i said right you may have another customer table another product table or another transaction table for that what i'm going to do for that what i'm going to do i will go and copy paste here again copy paste here again and this one maybe i'll call it as a walmart database walmart database so here it's a amazon database in amazon database you have a collection of tables that belongs to amazon here you have a Walmart database because customer is customer. Even if you ask KSR, KSR also will call you customers. Maybe I may call you students, but KSR will call you customers, right? So it's all about business. So in every business, you have the customer table. How do you justify this is Walmart customers? How do you justify this is Amazon customers? You have to put it in a proper place that is called database. Now database is a biggest umbrella. Inside that you will have n number of tables, right? With all this information, let's get into our practicals, right? Let's get into our practicals. Now, this is where you have to write the code. This is where you have to write the code. Okay. Now, uh, when you have installed for the first time, you may not see anything like this. You may not see anything like this. Okay. Uh, since you have installed for the first time, you may not be able to see anything. Okay. Now, what I'll do? I will go and create one database first. Now, this is a database, right? So first is database is required. 
inside the database, I need to create the tables. Inside that, I need to create the tables. Okay. So for now, what I'll do is, okay. Now let's start writing our first code. What I need to do? First, I need to create the database. So to create the database, the syntax is C R E A T create database. And you have to give one database name, database name. That's it. This is all to create a database. Okay, so I will write ash symbol. Ash means it's a comment. Comment means it is only for your understanding, not for system. So this is for creating a new database. Now, the reason why I always write DB in the suffixes, it's a standard we follow. Okay, so as I, I mean, uh, as I was telling, right, whatever I use in my organization, same thing I'm using here. In my organization, they always have a standard. Anything you are naming it, always you name the suffix with what it is. So this Amazon is a database. DB stands for database, right? Now, I will simply go and select this. There is a spark button you see on the screen. And the moment you select this, automatically you will see that create database database is created. One row affected and you can see that it is run at 9, 10. Okay. Now, this is how you have to create a database now what i will do this is okay i have created it now there are n number of databases okay i will be working for flipkart i'll be working for ksr i'll be working for uh, some other batch i'll be working for walmart so my organization works for different clients there is no strict instruction that i'll be working only for amazon right i'll be working for different different clients so first client which i'm working is amazon db so inside this amazon db what I should do now, I should start creating this tables. I should start creating these tables, but I need to tell my system. I need to tell my system, understand carefully. I need to help uh, tell my system. Hey, I am going to use this database. Now I'm going to use this database. Now last night I was actually working for one of the KSR project. That is why you can see that KSR SQL database is selected. KSR SQL database is selected. Now, if I go and create any tables, it will directly go and sit here. That I don't want. I want all my tables to be created in this database. So the next command which I'll be going and using is I will be writing use Amazon DB. So this is basically I'm telling please activate this, activate this database so that we can start using it. Please activate this database. Now, if I run this, now, if I run this, you can see that you can see that if you refresh it, you can see that this database is created and it is active now. So this use database is actually a command that you're telling to the database, meaning that, hey, I'm going to use this database. I may be using Flipkart. I may be using Walmart. I may be using anything. But at this point of time, I am telling the system going forward, any tables I create, please create in this database. Right. So we have written two lines. We have written two lines. Now what I will do, I want to see in this database how many tables are there. I want to see how many tables are there. So let me go and write the command show tables. Let me go and write the command show tables. So this is for to display. So display all available tables. Now, if I go and run this, it will not give you any tables. The reason just now only I've created this database. So still tables I have not created. And that is why it is not showing any tables. So line number five is basically to see what are the tables that is present in this database. But unfortunately, it is not there because just now only I've created this database. How tables will be there, right? Okay. So what if I go and see in other database? Let's see. I'll go and see other database. Now I'll go and see use Flipkart DB. So there is a database called Flipkart DB. Okay. Now I will use that Flipkart DB. Now that becomes active. Now that becomes active. You can see that. I think Flipkart spelling is wrong. If I help Flipkart DB. Now it is getting selected. Now you see Flipkart database is selected. Okay. Now in this Flipkart database, I have selected means it is activated. Please activate this. Database. Now, if I go and see show tables, okay, in this also it is not there. Let me go and use our KSR database. 
So a KSR SQL is a another database. Okay, KSR SQL is a another database. So I'm going to activate that. So it has become active. Now if I go and run show tables, you can see there are so many tables present here. Bangalore data, client data, customer data, electronic data, and temporary table, employee history table, employees table, phone number table. All these are tables. All these are tables. Now you may ask me, how did this table come? Maybe I'm created for another project. What is that project? It is KSR project. But in your case, we are going to work with a fresh database. Everything will be done from scratch. So here we are going to create a new database. In order to create a database, it is simply create database, database name. And if you create this, automatically the database will be created. And you can see that here. You can see that here. But, but here it is not activated. To activate that, you have to go and use use database. So now that becomes active inside that. If you go and see the show tables, now nothing will be there. Now my next step is I have to create my first table. I have to create my first table. Okay. Now suppose instead of create, let's say create a database, create a database and the database name I'll give Amazon DB one. If I give this, it will not understand. It will not understand. That is why I'm saying don't use your English language here. Create a database. Don't do that. Okay. So don't do that. So you have to always follow the syntax. The one which you're seeing in the blue color, it is called keyword. You have to write that keyword. If you don't write that keyword, computer will not understand. So that is why I'm saying whatever you're writing, it's not English. It's SQL. So you have to write in a proper command. Okay. So instead of create, let's say I will write implement. The synonym of create is implement. So if I say implement database, it will not work. It will not work. You have to use the proper words. That proper words are keywords. Now you may be thinking, how will I know it? Well, as and then you start using SQL, you will understand the language. You take any language. First thing is you will be learning ABCD like that in SQL also. Today we are starting with basics like we will be learning ABCD. So just like that to start creating the database, you should always create database database name only. You cannot give whatever you like. This is not English. It has to be a create database database name. So everyone have a name in this world. Similarly, your database also have a name and their database is actually a create database database name okay then this is for activation because there are a lot of databases are there right i can create customer table in this i can create customer table this i can create customer table in this i can create customer table in this i can create anywhere so i need to activate it so i will go and use use database so automatically that becomes active and if you go and see the tables it is not there okay now all good let's go and create our first table Let's go and create our first table. So in the first table, let me open an Excel. As I told you, we will start with simple good design. For good design, I will go and say customer name. This is a customer table. Customer age, customer location, right? So I'll also take customer ID. Now this is a table I have to create. Now this is a table I have to create because I'm storing only the customer information. I'm storing only the customer information. Now this structure I need to create this structure. I need to create. Let's see how to create it. Okay. Now listen carefully. Now I am writing to create a table. So the one which I'm writing Ash, right? It is it computer will not understand. This is for yourself. Okay. For the, your understanding. So I need to create a table first. So how to create a table? Very simple. Always start with create create what you need to create. You need to create a table, create table here. We have done create database here. I'm going to write create table. So when I said table, I should also give the table name. Now I'll give customer customer, but I will also suffix with TB. TB stands for table. DB stands for database. So database I've created Amazon database inside that I have to create one customer table. I am making sure that it is active. If you don't activate this, it will go and create in some other database. Last night I was working for different project there. It will go and create always make sure that you use the right database for right projects. So once you do this, I will go and write show tables. So nothing is there. So I have to create a first table. So create table table name. Okay, then 
put one bracket, put one bracket, close it. That's all. Open bracket, close bracket. Inside this, I have to go and write the columns. What are the columns I need? I need customer ID. I need customer name. I need customer. Actually, let me take phone number. Age is not required. So let's say customer phone number. After customer phone number, I have to take customer location. So these are the columns I need. Okay, that's all. First, you write create table and you give some name. Everyone has a name. Table also should be name. Suffix with TB. Open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. So always remember, every statement you write, always you have to write a semicolon. See, day one, day two, maybe you may find it, okay, how to remember this. But once you start practicing, everything is easy. I am teaching you like A, B, C, D in SQL. Just follow. Everything has to be uh, finished with a semicolon. So I am starting here. I will be finishing with a semicolon. So... Create table, table name, customer ID, customer name, customer phone number, customer location. Okay, all good now. Now, in the customer ID, I have to store one. In the name, I have to go and store my name. In the phone number, I have to write phone number. And in the location, I have to write Bangalore. Now, this is how it is, right? You cannot go and write phone number here. And you cannot go and write Chennai here. So, this will become a misvalued. In phone number, you have to enter phone number list, but location has come here. Similarly, the phone number here, location should come, phone number has come here. Now, this is a wrong, right? That means I need to tell in each field what type of value I need to store. Number should I store? Uh, or can name be a character? Can uh, phone number be a character? All this I need to check. In the phone number, if you what if you go and enter like this? One, two, three. There are some people who write like this. Right, phone number, if I ask, they'll write one, two, three, four, five. So I don't want these mistakes to happen. If I don't want these mistakes to happen, I will allow only numbers to be entered in this field. I have to make sure I have to enter only numbers. And that is why what I will do after writing the column name, just give a space and tell them what value you can store here. I will tell INT integer. Integer. INT stands for integer. That means customer ID can be a integer. Okay. Now, name. What is name? Name means it can be Santosh, Anand, Kiran, Murali. Right? It should be a character. I will write C-H-A-R. Char. INT stands for integer. Character stands for character. Now, phone number. What is phone number? Again, phone number. I cannot give A, B, C, D. Right? I have to give a number. I will write A, I, N, T. Then, Location. What is location? Location also can be Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai, Pune, Gujarat. So it should be a character. So for every column, you have to tell what type of values you have to store. Because in the phone number, I cannot go and expect characters. Or in the name, I cannot go and expect numbers. So I have to make sure that I give the proper data type. There is a separate session that I'll be taking for data types. But for today's session, just focus on the table. I am going to create a table only. So later we will see what is this data types. At this point of time, my focus is to only design the table. Now, all good, right? This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. But these are all four columns. I need to have a, a separator. I'm writing, right? See, I could have written in one line only. I could have written all this in one line only. But it becomes a confusion. That is why I'm writing in a different line. So how do you separate that one column with one column? So you have to just write comma, comma, comma. That's it. That's it. One column to other column, you have to write a comma. Okay. Now, if I write my name, if I write one name, let's say this is my name. My name is actually eight characters. Okay, eight characters, right? So I cannot have name like this. Santosh, Kiran, Krishna, Kartik, Ramsami. I cannot have this big name, right? So this is not my big name. Even if I include my surname, first name, middle name, last name, it cannot be so big. So I will give some limit. That means you cannot have your name more than 30 characters. You cannot have more than name 30 characters. That means I will put a limit. If you want to give a name, you have to give it within 30 characters. You cannot give big name. We have only 26 alphabets, but you cannot give 45, 56 alphabets, right? Your name it need not be that big. So I'll put some limitation. I'll put some limitation. I'll simply go and say, for this, you have to enter only 30 characters. For this, you have to enter only 30 characters. For location, since they may enter the complete address, 
maybe I'll give 50 characters. After 50 characters, you should not accept it. Now, this is a, a simple table, very simple table. I repeat, create table, keyword, table name, column name, what value can be stored, column name, what value can be stored, column name, what value can be stored, column name, what value can be stored. Now, if I simply go and run this and click a spark button, you should be able to see that green signal. That green signal will tell you that it has executed successfully and you can see that it has executed at 725. So 725, it has executed. This table is executed. Now you go and show the tables, you will be able to see the customer table. So customer table is created as part of the this database. That means I am good. Customer is created. Now let's create a product table. Very simple. Same approach. Same approach. Okay. Same query. Same query. You start with create. After create table. So for everything you have to give a name. Let's make it product. For product you have to suffix with TB. TB. Then open bracket. Then close bracket. Close bracket. That's all. Now inside this bracket, you have to write the columns. Inside that, you have to write the columns. For clarity purpose, I am putting in the next line. Okay, it's not a mandatory, but it becomes a well organized. So the first one is product ID. Okay. Next, I need product name. Next, I need product price. That's all. So if I want to store another table here, this one I'll give product ID and what product they have, I mean product name, it could be headphones, cell phone, mobile phones, anything, laptops, anything it could be. So it's a product name and last one is price or MRP, your wish. You can keep whatever you want. Now this becomes one table. Now this becomes one table. So in this table, I am storing all the information about products. So this is products information. This is customer information, right? So I need to create this very simple. Create table, table name. Column, column, column. So what value I can store here? It has to be a number like this. It has to be a number. So I'll give integer. And what is this name? It can be product. Headphones, laptop, like keyboard. It's a character. So I'll simply go and write character. But you cannot give laptop oh, big name. Let's have some limitation. I'll give 30 characters. And let's say price. Price, let's assume that it is also in integer. That's all. That's all is a table. Create table, table name. Column, column data type, column, column data type, column, column data type. What is data type? What value you can store here? That's a data type. Now, there is one issue. There is some issue. What is that issue is between this and this, you need to have one comma. Between this and this, you need to have one comma. Now, this is the last one. After this, nothing is there. Don't go and put comma. It's a common sense. It's a common sense. In the last one, comma is not required. So you remove it. Now I will select all the four or five lines and there is a spark button you see on the screen. Just click that. Make sure that you see the message, green message. That means this table is also created. So I've created two tables now. If I go and see the show tables, you should be able to see the two tables that I have created in this database. So where we are, we created a database first. How to create a database? It's very simple. Create database, database. But there could be n number of databases. I need to activate it. So to activate it, to activate it, this is a, to activate it, activate database. This is a command. And to see the tables, this is a command. And finally, this is for creating the table. This is for creating the table. So to create the table, this is the syntax. Now I want to see the records. What records are there? One Santosh like this. And I'll be there is an another person called Anand. And for Anand, I will give phone number like this. Okay. And let's say he's from Chennai. And let's say I'll take the third person. Let's say I'll take Vinod. And for Vinod, this is a pass. Uh, this is a phone number I have. Okay. And after that, let's assume that he's from Pune. Like this, I will be creating customers. Okay. I'll be creating the customers. Now, while creating the customers, let's assume that how to see this records. I want to see who are the customers present, right? So for that, I have to go and write one code. That is to see the content of the tables. You have to write one command called select. You have to write command called select. Select star from table. What is a table name? 
this is a table name. This table is already created. So select star from table. I will go and run this. Now this will show you the complete content of the table. Okay, so select star from customer table. Select star from table name will give you complete contents. Whatever is present in the table, that information you can see. So you may ask, hey, I want to see KSR data. I want to see KSR data. How many students are there? How many students are, uh, I mean, uh, got job? You want to see that? Simply go and write, select star from our KSR data. You will be able to see. Now, similarly, here also, I am going and writing, select star from customer. I'll tell you why this star, but at this point of time, just think that line number 26 is the line to go and see the table information. What are all the records present in this table? I can go and write select star from table. Unfortunately, I don't have any records. I've inserted here, but I have not inserted here. Let's see the content of another table. How to see the contents of another table? Select star from product table. Select star from product table. So here also I will go and just run it. I will be able to see product ID, product name, product price. Now this is how you can see the content. This is how you see the content. Now, imagine I am opening this Amazon for the first time. It's a new client. It's a new database. First customer comes into picture. So for the first customer, how to insert the record, we will see. Okay, very simple. Now I need to insert the record. So to insert the customer's record customers details or customers record so whatever you call so this is called comments it is for your understanding so how do you write the insert script very easy insert into insert into this is a customer table right select star from customer it's a customer table but i don't have anything here i don't have anything here so insert into customer tb you insert into customer tb you are inserting you are inserting something to this table and i will say values you simply say what are the details you want to send so i will send one one will go and sit in this customer id then i have to give name name i will go and write santosh name i'll go and write santosh so one will go and sit here santosh will go and sit here next followed by phone number so i'll write phone number followed by last one i will call it as bangalore i'll call it as bangalore okay now I will close this. I will close this. Now, if you observe carefully, wherever I had given integer, wherever I have given integer for customer and phone number, I had given integer. That means you can enter only numbers. Wherever I want to enter numbers, I am not putting any quotes. I am not putting any quotes. Wherever I am putting as a character, that will come in the quotes. That will come in the quotes. Now, if I go and insert this, and if I go and run this spark button, and you can go and see the output. So the output says it's a green signal. There is one record that is getting inserted. Now you go and write line number 26. You can see that Santosh record is getting inserted. Now that is how I was able to insert my first record. And the first record that I've inserted is Santosh Bangalore. Now I have to insert second record. How do you insert the second record? Same line. Insert into. Insert into. Customer. TB. Values. Second customer. Two. Two. And the name is Anand. And the phone number is. And he is from Chennai. Now, this is a second record. I repeat again, wherever you give an integer, wherever you give an integer, you need not give quotes. Wherever you give a character, that means you have to give it in quotes. Again, your wish. If you want to give single quotes, you can give single quotes. If you want to give double quotes, you can give double quotes. Your wish. Okay. See, for example, I go and enter like this. It will insert. If I also go and write like this, it will insert. Okay, there is nothing problem. Line number 36 also no problem. Line number 36 also no, no problem. What, what is not expected is you start with double quotes and end with single quotes. This I will not accept. Whatever you start, you end with that. You start with uh, uh, double quotes, you end with double quotes. You start with single quotes, you end with single quotes. That is acceptable. Don't write line number 39. One place you give double quotes, one cap you give small quotes. It's a common sense. Okay. Now I will go and insert the records, which is called Anand. Now I will go and insert it. Now second row has also got inserted. Always try to get that green. That green gives you some satisfaction. Yes, something is working. Now if I go and write the customer table, I will be able to see the records. So 
two records has been inserted just like that two customers has been inserted okay let me insert couple of more so to save some time i will copy paste it but you don't do copy paste you don't do copy paste i will do three i will do three and i will do four that means it's a fourth customer and i will do five so this is a fifth customer so anand is done next i will go and say rajiv next i'll go and say kartik next i'll say vinod so these are the five customers so i'll change the phone numbers and i'll change the phone numbers and i'll change the phone numbers and here it's chennai is there let's change it to pune let's change it to mumbai and let's change it to delhi now first two is inserted now next three i will select all three together oh, and i will go three. Yeah, this is five, right? Okay, so let's make it five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now, if I go and execute this, all the three records is getting inserted. Now, if I go and see this table, well, successfully, I am able to see the five customers data. How am I able to see line number 26 is actually the line to see the content of the table. In this table, I am storing customer ID, customer name, customer phone number, and customer location. So I'm successfully able to create this table here. Okay, I'm able to successfully create it. Now, one challenge. There is one challenge. Okay, let's see what is a challenge. For example, I'm trying to enter one girl's name. Okay, let me insert one girl's name here. So, insert into customer table values 6. Let's say Hema. Okay, let's say Hema. So, Hema is a girl. Now, she is not interested to give phone number. She will directly give location. That's all. She is not interested to give phone number. For all the other people, it's good. Because I have a place. So, one will go and sit here. Santosh will go and sit here. Number will go and sit here. Location will go and sit here. Perfectly fine. But now, 6 will go and sit here. If I run this, Hema will go and sit here. Now, Bangalore, it doesn't know where to go and sit. Whether to sit here or sit here. It doesn't know. Line number 37 will now throw an error. Let's see what is that error. You can see for all the things, I've got green, 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 green. Now, if I write this insert scripts, if I go and write sixth one, that is the sixth element, I will be getting an error. And the error is actually being displayed as a cross mark. And if you clearly go and see that, it is saying that column count doesn't match with the value count. This is a column count. How many columns are there? How many columns are there? The columns are one, two, three, four. So column count is four. That is actually not matching with the value count. Value count means 1, 2, 3. Now, that's an error. That's an error. It is clearly saying I am having 1, 2, 3, 4, but you are giving only 3. Why? That is why I am not able to insert. It will clearly throw an error. I cannot go and ask Hema. Hey, Hema, you have to give the phone number. No. I cannot do that. It's our wish Perfect. to give the phone number or to not to give the phone number. It is our wish. But what you are doing, you are actually trying to manage this, but it's not happening because six will go and sit here. Hema will go and sit here, but there is a confusion. Bangalore should go and sit here or sit here. It's not knowing. But for all the other things, there is a proper order. One, Santosh, phone number, location, all perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. The only challenge is with the Hema. Okay, now let's go with the another person. Let's go with the another person. Okay, let's take Ramya. Now, Ramya is just not interested to give anything except name. Name, that's all. She's not interested to give phone number. She's not interested to give where is the location also. Is not interested to give the location also now if i run this again that will throw an error again that will throw an error because i'm expecting four values but you're entering only two values so it's failing so unfortunately ama and 
Ramya will not get inserted into this table because line number 37 and 38 is been throwing an error. Now, question to this is, how can you handle this? How can you handle this? Very simple. Very simple. There is an another way of inserting the records. So, this is the first way. This is the first way. Okay. First method to insert records. There is an another method now. And the another method, second method, second method, observe carefully how I am writing. Very simple, insert into customer table and within the brackets, first you give the column names. Customer ID, customer name, customer phone number. The actual column names is there, right? That I will enter. Customer location. And then I will close the bracket. Then I will go and say values. Now I will go and say eight Tarun phone number phone number followed by Pune. Now this is the second way of inserting the records. This is the second way of inserting the records. What is happening? Insert into table. Now I am not giving any column names here, but here I am giving the column names. So then I am giving values. Now what will happen? 8 will go and sit here. Tarun will go and sit here. Customer phone number will go and sit here. Pune will go and sit here. So you write line number 36 or you write line number 42. Both are same. Now if I go and insert it, now if I go and insert it, that record also will be inserted. Now you can see that Tarun's record would have come. And his, look, his ID was 8. Now if I go and run this table, so I would have got ID 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 not inserted. Why? The 6 and 7 is not inserted because they did not give me the address. They did not give me the phone number. Just because you are not giving the phone number, I am not going to allow you to enter my database. That's not the process. Whether they are giving or they are not giving, you have to make the entry. Unfortunately, line number 37 and 38 are failing. To overcome this, I will be writing a second method. In the second method, just before the values, you give the actual column names. Now what I will do? Insert into insert into customer table customer table now i will go and give cust id now i'll give customer name now hema is not interested to give phone number right let's skip the phone number let's write customer location so here i'm entering only customer id customer name customer location then i'll go and write values then i'll go and write 7 comma Hema, comma, location. Location will be Bangalore. So here she is not given phone number, but that's fine. What will happen in the line number 43 is, here it is actually looking for four values. But here, what I'm doing, this seven, you go and enter here. This Hema, you go and store it here. And your location, you go and store it here. Now that's where I will be writing. If I write this, now you can see that the green signal. Even though I have given only three values, here three values, it was giving error. But here I have written the three values, but still I am not getting error because these three values, I am telling in where you have to go and sit. So sometimes if you op if you're going for some uh, movies, they will give you the seat number. Even though the uh, theater is empty, they will still have to go and sit in that actual seat number. So this is like a providing an actual seat number. In this, I am not providing seat number. I am not providing seat number. That means it's confusion. Six will go and six will go and sit here. Hema will go and sit here, but it doesn't know. Bangalore to sit in this seat or to sit in this seat, it doesn't know. But in the line number 43, I am telling 7, you go and sit here. Hema, you go and sit here. Location, you go and sit here. And that is why now Hema data has been inserted successfully. She has not given the phone number. I am completely, absolutely fine with it. I am able to see there is a null value. That means they have not given anything. This is acceptable. Now, this is how you can insert if you values has not been given. But here you can insert if all the values has been given. So we are successfully able to load the data with the normal insert. And for that, I have written the syntax. Now, what we have learned is like a ABCD only created a database, activated the database, 
show the tables, no tables at all. Then I've created a customer table. Then I've created a product table. Then I'm going and displaying purpose. That thing was there. Now I have created an insert script. So insert script, I'm inserting the values. By chance, if you have all the four values that has been given, you need not write the column name. But if they are giving only two columns, three columns, four columns, then you have to, if you run this, it will throw error. In that case, I have to go and write a, this method. So here I'm mentioning seat number. The seven has to go to this seat. So this one you have to go to this seat and this one I have to go to this seat. So this is how I can go and give the seat numbers. That means three columns will have three values. If I go and insert it automatically, this table will be having all the records successfully inserted. Why Emma's phone number is not there? Emma was not interested to give the phone number. It is not there. Okay. Now I'll give a pause here. Please ask your questions from the topics what we have covered. Whatever we have covered, right? Creating a database, creating a table, loading the data only with this. If you have any questions, please let to ask. Uh, yeah, sir, right, can so we much. insert multiple records at once? I mean, like we are writing insert into again and again. One line, yeah. one insert as of now. Okay. One customer, one insert. I have to write one line as of now. Multiple, possible or not possible, we'll see in future. As of now, one insert. Okay. Next question. Yeah. Hi, Santosh. Is yes. there any case in still here in the SQL? No, if you write small also, it will work. Just because a lot of people are logging in from smartphone, I'm writing in caps. So even if you write it in small, it will work. If I write it like this, insert into customer table, it will work. The only thing is here I'm maintaining the capital so that you people can see in the mobile. Okay. Other than that, it's case insensitive. That means you give it in caps, it giving in small, it will work. But the keyword should be with the exact spelling. You cannot give inserting. If you give inserting, it will not work. Inserting is an English word. Insert means it's a SQL word. Like that, you have to give a proper keywords. Next question. Uh, Sometimes in the row number 37 and 38, so can, we can uh, give a blank, right? Like uh, adding the comma to the next we row. Can give, uh, we can give. We will see that. As of now, I'm just entering two to three values, which the column count is not matching. Since three, seven and error is actually failing, since seven and 37 and 38 is actually failing because the column count is not matching. Because the column count is not matching. Now I'm giving the seat numbers. That is, I'm giving the column names. So seven, you go and sit here. Hema, you go and sit here. Bangalore, you go and sit here. That's like providing a seat number. This is like a second method. If you have all the values, go with first method. If you like, there are some values which they are not giving, go with the second method. Next. Uh, Santosh, in the first method itself, if the value is null for that particular, there is no, can we give space or something or we can not? Give it. We can oh, give it. That's what I said, right? Okay. Yeah, okay. this we are still in the second method. We will be doing other ways as well. As of now, you if you don't have the values, you go and use a second method. Yes, and for the character, and for the character, we are giving some limitation. And yeah. the same like integer also, we can integer also we can keep it but integer means it's an integer i'll be covering data types in a separate class this data types i'll be covering in a separate session today my objective was to create a table that i am able to create successfully and i'm able to see the data all of your information right it is getting stored like this today you would have logged into ksr application today you would have logged into amazon same data would have got stored maybe i'm restricting to four columns maybe in amazon they may have 20 columns in ksr they may have 40 columns that's the only difference this is how inserts will happen. This is how you need to create a table. Any other questions? Uh, hello, Santosh. Sorry. Uh, so actually, when I open my MySQL my uh, workbench, I'm able to see Sys as a database or a schema. So now if I want to create a new one, it's just using a create database. Yes. So then i able to see the new Amazon DB as a new one under my Sys. Here you should be seeing Amazon DB. Are you seeing it? No. There is a refresh button here. Just click that refresh button. Once you create an Amazon database, you click that refresh button. You should be able to see that. Okay. So once I click the refresh, I'm able to see the. Okay. Okay. Got yeah. It. yeah. So that will be highlighted. Highlighted means it's selected. If it's not selected, you have to use use Amazon DB. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Are we good? 
so far hello hello yes hi are we passing the keyword arguments uh, same like as arguments sorry what uh, are we passing the keyword arguments like customer id equal to 1 so like that here we are passing the arguments this is not arguments this is values uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes yes 1 is value one will go and sit here santosh will go and sit here number will go and sit here location will go and sit here Uh, yes, yes, yes. Same like as uh, customer ID equal to one, uh, customer name equal to Santosh. Are we passing that same like as? Uh, are you using any other database? Uh, no, 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 no. In SQL, in MySQL, this is the only way to enter. You'll okay, be entering okay. one. You'll be entering Santosh. You'll be entering in this. You'll be entering in an order. So that is how it is. Okay. Okay. Are we good? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, let's go and do few more things. Okay. Santosh has changed his location from Bangalore to Maldives. Imagine that next to Bangalore, my favorite place is Maldives. Okay. Now I changed my location. I changed my location. Now. what i need to do i need to go and enter it okay now what i will do so far until today i know only insert statement so what i will do i will go here i will copy the first line i will rewrite that second line again and i will go and write maldives if i go and enter now and if i go and see the data now there is a problem there is a problem why santosh is repeated i cannot do this i cannot do this in this i don't know whether he is in bangalore or he is in maldives why two two locations for him right only one should be there whichever is a updated one maybe he is in maldives maldives should be there maybe he is in bangalore bangalore should be there why two records like this if any n number of people one day they'll be in mumbai one day they'll be in chennai one day they'll be in bangalore so one person will have n number of records this is not accepted this is not accepted so far i know only insert scripts that is why i entered another insert but this is wrong i did not insert another record like this okay here it was bangalore and i did not enter another record like this i didn't do that right so i didn't do that this is not the one which i did so same address same customer same name same phone number but why will i go and enter another record no i don't want this this is not the one which i'm expecting the way i am expecting is the way i am expecting is i don't want this entry at all in this place of bangalore itself you change to maldives this is what i want this is what i want this is actually possible by going with a another syntax another keyword and that keyword is actually to update the existing records so new means it's actually entering the new records new customers so to enter the new customers i will be using insert but if i want to update i have to go and write update so this will be the next syntax okay so today what we have learned we have learned some basics we have learned some basics and the basics are we first try to create a database with the keyword create database okay and also we can create a create table right then what we did we actually inserted so insert is for inserting new records or new customers right so that is what we have done and in between how to activate it how to see the tables is what we have learned now this what we have covered today is like a a b c d in sql what is a b c d here you have to understand create create means it has some meaning 
data base means it has some meaning so you cannot go what you cannot give whatever you want you cannot give whatever you want so instead of show tables okay the alternative for show is let's say see tables it will not work it will not work you have to use a proper keywords that proper keywords is show tables okay now that is where we can start using our tables inserts updates there is lot of lot things to cover as part of the basics but today we have covered two main things i was able to create a table i was able to insert it now tomorrow i go to a different location how to change the existing data for that we have to learn another statement called update we'll see that in the next class today everyone has to go and create a simple table and everyone has to insert your data like this and you want to see the data like this except the last row i want you to come up with data like this okay now today i have created a, a simple table right so today i have created a simple table let me show you real data so this time i created a table i inserted right let me show you real data i'll show you real data okay so hold on there is a database called there is a database called power apps okay so i will use the database first use power apps so this is a database in this database now this becomes active in this i have a table name called student details in this i have a table called students details now i'll go and see how to see i've already told you so to display the records to display the content of the table you have to write select star from from where you need to see that table name i will give students tv if i go and see this student tv it is it's not there just give me a minute see here this is all our case our students names these are all our batch people student id student name phone number email id where is their location they are coming from new york california what is their experience were they referred by anyone one means referred zero means no if they are referred we should have saved their names but we are keeping it as secured purpose how did they reach us did they come from instagram did they come from facebook did they come from youtube when did they start the batch with us for we for them we will be giving a ksr email id and which batch they belong to have they got the offer zero means they did not get the offer one means they have got the offer one means again they have got the offer how many offers the lot of people who got four offers two offers four offers three offers among the four offers what is the highest package this is what we are storing the ksr data today i have shown you how to insert one by one right but this is a an existing ksr data you may see different uh, arshit arshita 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 there were four arshitas in our batch right there are four arshitas but four people four arshitas are there that means all people will not have same names they have different surname they have different last name so for this arshita 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 ksr id is we give 64 65 66 67 their phone number their email id and they are coming from which location what is their experience did they get the offer or not what is the highest package they got 15.5 lakhs per annum is what they have got now this is what will be the table so how i am able to see very simple select star from table name what is the table name student details where is the student details it is coming from one of the database called power apps this is how you can see the data but we are still in the beginning we have still in the beginning what is our beginning we are still in the 5 to 6 records that also manually i am entering first two three days it will be very basics then we will see how we will be working with the real time so tomorrow if someone is asking where is my information stored i am part of amazon i am part of flipkart i am part of bank 
everything they're going to store in the form of a table and this is a table for you today we have created a table and today we have inserted the records and i have also written the comments please follow the comments okay this is to create a database to this is to activate the database this is to display the tables and this is to create a table very easy column column value column column data type data type means what value i can store here and finally inserting the records that is all is equal everything will be simple to this if you practice on daily basis this is not at all a coding language this is a, a structured query language which is very very easy okay now we will see tomorrow how to update suppose i'm not interested i want to deactivate my account sometimes i do if i'm spending lot of time on instagram i deactivate the account right how to delete the account we will see tomorrow how to update the records we will see tomorrow that will be our next class topic. So next class, we are going to work on update and delete. Is that clear? Yeah. Are we good? Yes, Santosh. Okay. Yes. One question. People who are hearing for the first time SQL, is it easy? Yes, it is easy. No. But I have yes. one more now. So As is of now, the... yes. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, is it all with the data or it is entering the entering the manually or is there any form like if I uh like if any students joining or see college, uh, today is a day you... one I'm inserting manually, okay. But your Amazon has yeah. six thousand crore customers. They will not enter manually. I will tell you how it works in the later part. At this point of time, I'm inserting one by one. It's just our first practical class. So I'm inserting one by one. What happens in the real time? You have to wait for the future. Okay. And last doubt, can we import the data from any Excel or CSV to the SQL in the same uh, structured uh, column wise? It is possible. We will see that in the future. That's what I'm saying, right? It's still in the day one. Mm -hmm. We are going in yeah. the process we are still learning abcd then you have to write the sentence we have to write the grammar there's a lot of things to do it we are just in the beginning just the day one of the practical class santosh yes for character we have given 30 as maximum limit right is there any practice that we give for integers also uh if you or... give integer it has some value okay that value we can store it that will be covered again in the data type classes. What is the value? Okay. Why you need to give 30? Everything I'll discuss there. Today, okay. my objective was to create a table. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Uh, Santos, you are putting in characters at 30. If you are putting in character 50 or 60, it will be taken or not? It will take. Whatever you give, it will take. Okay. Are we good? Okay. So with this, we have completed four free classes. Sorry. We have completed five free classes. So today is... Wednesday. So we started on uh, Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, we have started. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we have completed all the five classes. Okay. So by this, we are completing all the pre sessions. We have completed all the five pre sessions. Now, if you are interested, if you are understanding, you have to get registered. Okay. You have to get registered. So let me tell you how to get registered. Let me tell you how to get registered. You can log into your portal. The portal is datavision.com. Please log into your portal and log in. If you don't have a credentials, you can always sign no, in. No, no, no. And once you sign in, it will ask you the passwords, you, uh, all this. Just enter everything. So once you log in, you will be able to see the course. Okay. So go to the explore course. So in this, you can see the actual course. The one which we are going to learn will be data analytics with microsoft fabric february batch just click that and you can buy this course okay you can buy this course so this started on february 8th seven o'clock the first five free sessions we have given you as free tomorrow will be the sixth session which you have to buy it so if you go and buy it it will give you some discounts i think they will have some uh this is a coupon code so if you apply coupon code you will get some discount and your uh course fees will be 28,000. So you can pay using your credit card, debit card, or you can reach out to our team also. For more clarification, please contact us. Our team can guide you. 
for example if you're looking for installments or if you're looking for uh, maybe 28 is uh, i'll not be able to pay one time i'm looking for a, a single i mean sing, uh, installments you can always reach out to our team if you want to pay from this course you can always pay here okay the reason why it is 30000 is we will be giving you license for each and every one each and every one who's present in this batch will be given a credentials. So we don't work as an institute here. We work as an organization. If you want to communicate with me, you have to communicate through the organization email ID. You have to send me an email. If you want to talk to me, you have to schedule a uh, meeting with me. So like this, everything will be professional, right? We are not going to communicate anywhere in WhatsApp. Everything will happen over the email discussions. We work as a team here. So by this, you will get some real time experience. Some most of you will be in fear. OK, I'm learning this. After going to the organization, what I will do, that experience you will get here. That is why we have structurized it. I always tell KSR is not an institute, it's a startup. You have all joined here to learn the topic and build the projects. So three projects will be doing along with that resume preparations, uh, guidance, one-to-one -one meetings and your background. Uh, what, what is your background? Based on that, we'll give you projects. Everything will be done as a package. It comes with 30,000, including license, SQL, Power BI, Azure, Fabric, 100 days. Today is the fifth day. Another 95 days is pending. In that, 120 hours of syllabus will be covered. The classes will be from Monday to Friday from 7 to 8.30 or 7 to 8.15. This will be the complete details. Any other doubts, you can always reach out to our team. Go to contact us and you can always call our number. We will help you. Are we good?